All right, so I got a question that says, why do you consume bivalves? And there's also a sort of question or comment in there um, to that saying, yes, it's odd. Seems reasonable vegan doesn't have enough confidence in the vegan diet. Um, okay, so bivalves, and so for anybody that doesn't know, bivalve refers to um, like oysters, clams, uh, scallops, um, mussels, uh, that kind of thing. So it is a uh, category of what is technically considered an animal, but they are not sentient. They do not have a central nervous system. They do not have a brain. They cannot, there's nothing that it's like to be like them. You, they, you, there's nothing that they can sense or feel or anything like that. And uh, so, uh, so anyways, uh, in my mind, that's what veganism is about. Um, Veganism isn't about protecting flowers or trees or rocks or anything. We are protecting, um, or at least uh, so, some form of protecting or not harming animals that can suffer and have experiences and uh, we can assume want to live. Uh, we don't assume that of plants. We don't assume that of something that is not sentient. Um, now, other people might have different classifications, but they'd have to explain what is it about a bivalve that they want to protect um, and you, you'd have to give a reason you'd have to have to explain why you're doing a thing I mean you don't have to but uh, <laughs> um, I guess that would just be you doing a thing without there being a reason for it um, so anyway similar to if a flower if a sunflower uh, someday evolved to have sentience therefore it felt pain and didn't want to be harmed then a vegan would start not harming sunflowers um, so same thing would go for something like a bivalve. If uh, if it's found, like right now it is thought of as not being sentient. If it is found to be sentient in the future or evolves to be sentient, then it would make sense for a vegan to um, stay away from it. Um, I, but j j not that it matters. I don't want to, I don't need to say this to like make myself look better. I'm perfectly fine with the idea of people eating bivalves. But um I had not even heard of what bivalves were until a couple months ago, and I'm glad I'm having conversations with many people and uh, learning these different things. It turns out a lot of vegans um, eat bivalves because they're not sentient, um, and so it's something I've looked into. I tried clams once. Uh, I did not like the taste, but I'm, I'm not against having them again for the nutritional value. Um, I had uh, scallops recently, and uh, I... I've had them on two occasions uh, in the past like week or so, and uh, I was not as thrown off by the taste of those. Um, but again, if I were to find out that they um, were sentient or there's some harm caused, I wouldn't go near them. But similar to how vegans um, will, most vegans I know anyways, uh, will drive a car even though it's going to hit some bugs, and they'll eat food that pesticides kill the bugs because uh, we're not as worried about bugs as we are about, say, mammals. Well, lots of bugs are sentient, and they're definitely more sentient than bivalves. So if you're okay with driving down the street and letting your car hit bugs, then uh, the only difference I could see with the bivalves is you're intentionally getting the bi bivalves where you don't want to kill the bugs even though you know you might hit them. Now, now I'm not worried about it. Um, I'm vegan. I don't eat animal products at all, um, aside from bivalves, uh, which uh, in my mind, they probably shouldn't even be classified as animals. Um, I just, I don't know the science behind it on why that would even get that classification, but I care about sentience. Um, so anyways, um, I, I'm pretty certain that um, they would be thought of as being less sentient than uh, insects that are sentient because there are sentient insects and uh, I think most of them are probably somewhat sentient where uh, bivalves are not. Um, and oh, so the other main reason would be uh, the health benefits. Now there, there could be a downside. There could be a downside to how they are harvested. There could be a downside to like uh, you hear different things about like mercury in different like seafood type things. Um, but from my understanding, um, the health benefits that come from bivalves are actually the three main things that us vegans uh, do supplements for, which is uh, B12, uh, vitamin D, and omega-3s, DHA, EPA. Um, my main reason is the omega-3s, but it's great to get all those, especially if it's a better source of them. So.